Hey guys, welcome to Felting Fandom. My name is Kari. Today I'll be showing you how to make an Among Us keychain. Here are a couple that I already made. This is an easy project that will take one to two hours to complete, depending on your experience. Here's what you need to get started. You'll need a felting mat of some kind. I'm using a bristle one here, but you can find wool or foam mats too. A felting tool that holds three or more needles will help to speed up the process. You'll also need individual needles to do detailed work and attach limbs. A pair of scissors to tidy up your project at the end. A strong crafting glue like this one. All of the parts of the keychain. And lastly, a pair of pliers. In terms of wool, you'll need your primary color. I'm using pink here to make the pink crewmate. A light gray to form the helmet. Dark gray for shading white wool for the highlight, and black wool to outline the helmet. All right, let's get started. First, you need to roll your wool as tightly and smoothly as possible to form the body. My wool was actually a bit loose here, which meant that felting took longer than it should have. Taking your needle felting tool, begin to stab the cylinder shape from various angles. Keep rotating the body. Our goal here is to tuck in loose edges and smooth out bumps. This process takes quite a while, but as you work, you'll start to notice that the body will get smaller and more firm. Always be careful when you're needle felting. It's very easy to stab yourself. Keep on shaping and smoothing the body of the crew member. You should perform occasional squish tests to find areas that are too soft and need extra felting. Start to flatten one end of the body. This is where we'll attach the legs. Once the body is firmly felted and smooth, we can start to make the legs. To form the first leg, Take a small piece of wool and tightly roll it into a cylinder, tucking in the edges as you fold. Try to leave one end of the leg unfelted to make it easier to attach to the body. I prefer to leave the legs loosely felted before attaching them and finishing them off once they're in place, but you can felt them more firmly now if you find that easier. Repeat this process for the second leg. Use one felting needle to attach the loose end of the leg to the body. You can use a swirling motion to tuck loose fibers into the body. Be careful not to bend the needle as you felt. If your felting isn't straight, you can break the needle. The leg should be firmly attached to the body. To test this, you can gently pull on the leg. It shouldn't stretch or separate. Continue to felt the leg until it's firm. Use the edge of your felting mat for difficult angles. Attach the second leg and felt until you're satisfied with the firmness and appearance of the legs. To form the backpack, tightly roll your wool into a flattened rectangular shape. Begin felting, concentrating on creating straight edges you don't need to felt the side of the backpack that will be facing down. Once the backpack is neatly and firmly felted, you can attach it to the crew member. Use a single felting needle to start attaching the backpack. If you're having trouble, you can use a small tuft of wool between the body and the pack to help it stick. Add extra definition to the sides of the pack once it's in place. Now we're moving on to the helmet. From now on we'll only be using one felting needle to complete these finer details. Take a small amount of light grey wool and roughly shape it into the helmet. Then start to tack it into place with your needle. Once you're happy with its placement, you can begin felting. 
The goal here is to have a rounded 3D helmet, so don't felt it flat. You can add extra wool if needed. Now we'll move on to the shadow. Take a small length of dark gray wool and tack one end in place. Continue to tack along the bottom edge of the helmet. You can cut away the excess wool with scissors and use a twirling motion to tuck in loose fibers. Next, we'll take a very thin piece of black wool and begin to tack that in place around the helmet. I decided to double the wool over itself to create a stronger line. Lastly, we'll take a tiny piece of white wool and roll it into an oval shape. Secure that in place and the felting is complete. Tidy up any loose fibers with a pair of scissors. Using a needle, make a hole to attach the keychain and fill it with strong crafting glue. Secure the keychain screw and use pliers to close the jump ring. And that's it! Your Among Us crew member is done. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please subscribe for more geeky needle felting tutorials. This is my first YouTube video so please let me know how I did. I'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks! Bye!